What's going on, everybody? Ryan Williams here of FanDuel. You can follow me on Twitter at RyanAlexander underscore W. And I'm here on this edition of the FanDuel Hurry Up talking about my three biggest draft day winners here from, from the 2022 NFL Draft. Let's start it off with the Baltimore Ravens. The Baltimore Ravens always have an incredible draft. Eric DaCosta there going out and making splash plays with splash picks with the first four that the Baltimore Ravens had in the 2022 draft. They bring in a safety, Kyle Hamilton there, who is thought to be the best safety prospect since Derwin James. And we know that safeties, you know, are, are definitely strong when you're talking about the, the likes of Ed Reed and, and Eric Weddle, um, Pro, Bo- Pro Bowl safety. I mean, perennial just all-star safeties there. Um, Kyle Hamilton fits that mold with what the Baltimore Ravens want to do. And then when you're looking at their next three picks, the center, Tyler Lindenbaum, uh, taking a chance on guys like David Ajabo and Travis Jones um, to to help out Mike McDonald in that defense. I think that this this team is just going to be in such a good prime position here to make a run in 2022. Granted that they're getting back healthy pieces on the offensive side of the ball, Lamar Jackson uh, being healthy and and then uh, hopefully J.K. Dobbins and Gus Edwards coming back healthy as well, too. I think they definitely made strong plays to set them up for a good year here in 2022. Let's move on to another team in the AFC, and that's going to be the Kansas City Chiefs. And they could be flying a little bit under the radar, but absolutely love their early picks. And Trent McDuffie and George Carl Loftus there who come in on the defensive side of the ball. Uh, very strong plays there who are going to make immediate impacts. And then when you're talking about the offensive side of the ball, yes, they did lose Tyreek Hill he's no longer there I don't think Sky Moore is going to be able to come in and replace him immediately but when you're looking at the vacated targets that Tyreek Hill left behind and also they they lost to Marcus Robinson who wasn't a strong fantasy play but from an NFL standpoint you know he was getting uh he was getting some meaningful snaps and and definitely a guy that Patrick Mahomes relied on in some time so Sky Moore definitely going to have a chance to make an impact early definitely will be targeting him for fantasy purposes but love what the Chiefs did in their draft for 2022 and lastly we can't can't talk about the 2002 NFL draft without talking about what the New York Jets did, what Joe Douglas did to go out and get weapons for Zach Wilson. You're talking about them drafting Garrett Wilson, drafting Brees Hall, drafting Jeremy Rucker. Uh, Zach Wilson is not going to have uh, many many chances here. Uh, he, he's going to have all these weapons, so he needs to come out and ball. I think he's a great late round pick uh, when you're talking about maybe best ball formats, when you're talking about redraft, taking him late. And even as a QB too, I'd, I'd be willing to go out and, and and put in some offers for him as this young core there. Granted that they just drafted Elijah Moore and Michael Carter last year as well. Th- this is going to be a, a strong core team. So Zach Wilson's going to have to get it together. And let's not forget about the defensive uh, players that they brought in in Sauce Gardner and Jermaine Johnson, just absolutely crushing it early on with their picks there for 2022. Guys, that's going to do it for this edition of the FanDuel Hurry Up. Thanks so much for tuning in, and we'll catch you guys next time on the FanDuel Hurry Up. Peace.